to Mame Town, also known as the Ants Rants channel. How are you guys doing? What's up? What's new, players? I think this is actually the grand debut of my bangs on this channel. What, what? Had these bad boys for a month, but I haven't really had time to make a video. I know you motherfuckers are going, but Mamrie, I see you on Instagram, I see how much you drink. That's not brand, y'all. Forgetting to make videos is also on brand. I am what I am. Anyway, things have been very busy, but all wonderful, fun shit that will eventually come into the light of day and not feel so secret. But because of things being so hectic recently, I decided to make a very grown up decision and hire an assistant. I mean, who wouldn't want me as a boss, right? I talked to some friends who also have assistants and they gave me some great advice. They said, you know, make sure you really, really trust whoever you hire because they're gonna have access to all your personal information. They're going to be running errands and doing tasks for you that could very well end up in a tell-all in a few years. So obviously the first person I interviewed for the job was Beans. Beans already knows everything about me, already threatens to write tell-alls constantly. I thought she would nail it as my assistant, but no, I'm not gonna lie, she totally bombed the interview. I believe I have a little bit of a clip. So Beans, thank you so much uh, for interviewing. I, I gotta admit I've never done an interview in bed before, but that's a cool request. I see you're wearing the same shirt that you've been wearing for about eight days, so that's cool. What is it? Look, tiny folder, do you bring your resume? This, is this an empty prop folder? Beans, do you have any experience in the personal assistant field? Perhaps any education to speak of? Any experience at all working? Uh, okay, well this, act it went better than expected. My search for a personal assistant became a huge pain in my ass, so I figured why not just hire someone who's already a pain in my ass. Please welcome my new personal assistant, Tiny Mouth. Hey, my friends, about to get time to put me back on your channel. Were your fans all writing letters wondering where I was, saying, bring back Tiny Mouth, bring back four more years. For those of you watching, I actually hired Tiny Mouth about three weeks ago, but she's only worked for me one week, because as soon as I hired her, she asked for time off. Excuse you, I was taking some mental health days, and I did not slack on my job, okay? I was able to work remotely. And then I used the remote to keep clicking to the next episode of the Great British Bake Off. I love that show. I never thought that I'd be that into pastries, but their voices are so soothing. You know I can hear you right. They're like visual Xanax. And that one judge with the blue eyes and the silver hair, my God, he is hotter than a July summer in Chattahoochee, Florida when you're in a tanning bed in the middle of a heat stroke. Speaking of your vacay, how were the Virgin Islands? I'll say this much, the Virgin Islands are incorrectly named, okay? And St. John, St. Martin, there ain't no saints on that island. We got fucking crazy. Well, this is plenty of uh, niceties for me. Did you just say I had nice titties? No, I did not. Whatever. Go ahead, take over the video. I'm gonna go do some shit and let you do this because I can't believe I'm employing you. All right, well, I bet you're thinking, thank God she is here. That memory is so goddamn boring. I mean, she makes a video like every three months and that's a little too often, you know what I mean? Bring back old tanny mouth. So here's the deal, I'm pretty much the best personal assistant of all time, but I'm gonna give you guys some hints so you can up yourself to my level. Might take a fireman's ladder, might take about 30 yards of rope and some insane upper body strength, but I think I can get you up there. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have a top notch resume. Yes, I have heard people pronounce this resume, but do I look French? Do I look like I've got a tiny beret and I ride a bicycle and I like my bread long instead of in a rectangle shape like God intended? Hell no, I'm calling that thing a resume. Cause here's the deal, you make it good enough, you get that job, and you just resume doing whatever the hell you were doing before. I mean, this is the easiest fucking job I've ever had. First thing on your resume is that education. And they're gonna know what degrees you have. And that's where you can play with words. According to scientists, my body has 98 degrees, so where's the lie? Do I have a bachelor's degree? No. Do I watch The Bachelor? Hell yeah. Do I have a master's? No. Do I own a thigh master's? You know it. Do I have a doctorate? No. Do I have a doctor who ate? I'm sure he's still alive. 
After you filled out the education part, you're gonna wanna put in some of them special skills. Now everyone can say, well, I know how to type. Welcome, yeah, welcome to the 90s. You gotta throw in something unexpected, very impressive, and something they can't fact check. Like I said, I'm fluent in Mandarin. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know Mandarin was a language. But I do know that when I drink enough absolute Mandarin, I get fluent in just about anything. <laughs> you just ask that bar smuggling coconuts down on St. Martin, they'll attest to me. Now, once you got the job, here's how you make life easier. Personal assistant basically means they want you to run all these errands. No, that's what boyfriends are for. One thing they might have you do is drop off and pick up their dry cleaning. Here's what I like to do. You get those dirty clothes that are too good for a washer and a dryer. You tell your boss that the dry cleaning place only takes cash. Then you just stuff those clothes in your trunk of your car for three days, pull them out, give them a little fee breeze. Your boss don't know the difference. This also works wonders if you're running late on a date. Scooch, scooch, your date's like, oh my God, you smell like fresh laundry and it conjures up all these memories of childhood and their, their mom doing their laundry and it just instills a sense of trust. And you know, I'm gonna save that for another video. That'll be for my date and tips video. Another thing they might have you do is they want you to go mail packages for them because there's nothing more annoying than having to go to the post office or something. Now, Mamrie, she prefers this company called Ups. And first of all, I don't trust any brand whose logo is brown. You hired someone and probably paid a lot of dollars for graphic design and you chose brown and yellow? Shit this? I don't trust Ups. So here's what I do, I take the packages, I had them in the trunk of my car. I wait about four days. Then I bring them back and I say that they were actually returned by the mail. But you only do that on a Friday, so that way they gotta take care of that shit themselves. Can't think of it, a lot of my tips have to do with the trunk of my car. Same can be said for my dating tips. The third thing they might have you do is answer emails for them. Now, Mamrie set up this separate email account so all her business emails go to tinymouth at mamrieincorporated.com. I asked for it to be kidrockcutie69 at 696969.com, but it was taken. But answering emails is annoying, okay? I got the British Fake Off to watch. I ain't trying to answer emails from Amy's managers when I'm trying to find out if that one old lady scones rose or if she didn't let the, the dough proof long enough. Here's what you do. You just say they all went to spam, okay? <laughs> spam is not only my third favorite canned meat, it's also my favorite tip, okay? Someone doesn't respond, oh my God, it, it went to spam. You forget to send an email that you were told to, to. You just say, hey, check out that new Big Sean jam because I sent that, it bounced back. Last night took an L, but tonight I bounced back. Now, I don't want y'all not sleeping at night because I mentioned that spam is my third favorite uh, can to me and you need to know the other. So I'll just break it down for you. Number one, this little one with the devil on it. I mean, <laughs> the only thing better than ham is ham that is also highly involved with Satan. Number two, Gerber Graduate's Little Meat Sticks. Look, I know the Gerber Graduate brand is marketed towards toddlers. And I am not a toddler despite having baby soft skin and a first grade reading comprehension. However, if y'all didn't notice, I got a tiny fucking mouth, okay? I need a sausage that can be easily held by a tiny two year old ham to be able to fit in my mouth, okay? You think I'm getting a bratwurst in here? That's crazy. That's like trying to fit an up huge box into a mail slot, okay? It does not work. I have tried it. Bye. Welcome to Midtown! Whoa, I hope this shoot isn't a huge inconvenience for you. You had to get off the bed to come to the living room for the first time all day. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Midtown. Cheers! I'm drooling, Beansers. I'm drooling. Did I drool on you? That was not booze. That was pure ginger because it is 